Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about async or await task examples in .NET. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Right, let's start with the first example. In this example, we have a simple asynchronous method print message async that prints a message after a simulated delay of 2000 milliseconds using task.delay. The main method is also marked as async and awaits the completion of print message async. So let's run the application and let's see if it's delay or not. So when I run this application, as you can see, after 2000 milliseconds, you can see the end of async method printed. Do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Okay, now moving towards the next example demonstrates the use of task.run to run a synchronous method asynchronously. The perform task async method asynchronously calls a synchronous method perform synchronous task using task.run. So here's the example. Right, I'm going to run this application and see if it is running synchronous method asynchronously. So click on console application. See, you can see it is automatically shifted towards a synchronous method and execute a synchronous task in our console application. Here, you will see this. Let's move towards another example. In this example, we introduce exception handling in asynchronous code. The perform async operation with error async method throws an invalid operation exception. The main method catches the exception. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to run this application and see what are the results. As you can see, it is already giving the exception caught or async operation failed. The next example is use of task.whenAll to wait for the completion of multiple asynchronous tasks concurrently. The main method waits for both download data async and process data async to complete. I'm going to run this application and see the output. As you can see, it will wait for both. After that, it will show us the download complete text. Okay, now, so the last example is here. We show how to use cancellation token to cancel an ongoing asynchronous operation. The perform async operation with cancellation async method supports cancellation. So I'm going to run this application and see the output. So as you can see, there is starting async method with cancellation support after that async operation cancelled by user so thank you for watching this video async or await in c sharp provides an elegant solution for handling asynchronous tasks improving code maintainability and performance whether dealing with simple delays running asynchronous methods asynchronously handling exceptions managing multiple tasks concurrently or incorporating cancellation support async await provide proves to be versatile tool in a senior developer's arsenal integrating these patterns into your code base can enhance responsiveness and and overall performance in scenarios involving asynchronous operations so don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates to joining our course you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com thank you